Dear students, I welcome you all to Vikasana program. I am Dr. A. Y. Khan from Dharwad. I today I will be dealing with some concepts related to chemical equilibrium. Students, you are aware that chemical equilibrium is a very important chapter from CET point of view. In chemical equilibrium, today we will be discussing some concepts related to Kp as well as Kc, how to calculate Kp of a reaction and how to calculate Kc. We will be also dealing with Le Chatelier's principle. I will discuss how to calculate pH, pOH of a solution. We will see what are buffer solutions and how to calculate the pH of a buffer solution. We will be also dealing with the solubility product. So these are the things that we are going to discuss today. Then students, what is chemical equilibrium? Chemical equilibrium is a characteristic property of a reversible reaction. It is a state of a reversible reaction at a given temperature characterized by constancy of certain observable properties like pressure, concentration, etc. Chemical equilibrium is always dynamic in nature. A reaction has, has said to be have attained equilibrium if the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the backward reaction. With this brief introduction about chemical equilibrium, we will start a session with some problems. Students, this is a question related to characteristic of an equilibrium constant. I will read the question for you. The factors affecting the numerical value of equilibrium constant for any chemical change. Your option A is concentration of product, option B catalyst, option C concentration of reactant, option D temperature. The numerical value of equilibrium constant does not depend upon concentration of reactants and the concentration of product. Hence, Option A and option C are not the right answers. A catalyst increases the rate of the forward reaction as well as the rate of the backward reaction. As a result, equilibrium will be readily attained, but it does not change the state of equilibrium. Temperature. The numerical value of equilibrium constant remains constant as long temperature is constant. Students, you are aware that as the temperature is increased, the rate of the reaction increases. The extent to which it is increased depends upon the activation energy of the reaction. When the temperature is increased, the rate of the forward reaction also increases and the rate of the backward reaction also increases, but the rate of forward and the rate of the backward reaction increases to a different extent because the activation energy for forward reaction and backward reaction will be different. You know that equilibrium constant K is equal to Kf by Kc that is rate constant for forward reaction divided by the rate constant for backward reaction. When the temperature is increased, the rate of the forward reaction increases to a different extent and the rate of the backward reaction also increases to different extent. Hence, the rate constant varies. Hence, option D temperature is the right option. Next question for you. K1 and K2 are equilibrium constant for reaction 1 and 2. Equation 1 is N2 plus O2 giving 2NO. Equation 2 is 2NO giving N2 plus O2. Your options are K1 is equal to 1 by K2 square. Option B, K1 is equal to K2 square. Option C, K1 is equal to 1 by K2. Option D, K1 is equal to 2 by K2. Before solving the problem, we'll, I will tell you some relations related to this problem. Consider a reaction A in equilibrium with B. Let K1 be the equilibrium constant for the reaction. If the reaction is reversed, that is B giving A, then the new equilibrium constant for this reaction K2 will be equal to the inverse of equilibrium constant for the reaction 1, that is K1 will be equal to 1 by K2. Equilibrium constant also depends upon the stoichiometries of the reaction. For example, consider the equation 1 that is I mean A giving B is multiplied by 2 that is the equation becomes 2A giving 2B. Then the new equilibrium constant that is K3 will be equal to 
k1 square if the equation 1 is divided by 2 then equation 1 becomes 1 by 2 a is equal to 1 by 2 b then the new equilibrium constant k4 will be equal to root of k1 so these are the relations that is when you reverse the reaction the equilibrium constant for the new reaction will be inverse of the equilibrium constant for the reaction one when you multiply a reaction with certain numbers for example 2 then the equilibrium constant for the new reaction will be equal to square of the equilibrium constant for the reaction one if you divide the equation with certain numbers like 2 then the equilibrium constant for the new reaction will be equal to root of equilibrium constant for the reaction one now let's move on to the problem look at equation 1 and equation 2 equation 2 is exactly the reverse of equation 1 this clearly indicates that the equilibrium constant k2 for equation 2 will be equal to 1 by that is it will be reciprocal for equilibrium constant for the equation 1 that is k2 is equal to 1 by k1 or k1 is equal to 1 by k2 hence option c is the right answer the next question is the equilibrium constant kc for the reaction h2 plus i2 in equilibrium with 2 hi at 700 kelvin is 49 what is the equilibrium constant for the reaction HI in equilibrium with high half H2 plus half I2 at the same temperature? Option A is 0 0.02, option B 49, option C 0 0.143 and option D 1.43. Students, this problem can be solved by using the relation that I have discussed in the last problem. If you carefully examine the equation, Equation 2 is exactly reverse of equation 1. Along with that, between equation and equation 2, the stoichiometries are different. Equation 2 can be obtained by dividing equation 1 by 2. As I have discussed earlier, when the equation is reversed, when the equation is reversed, then the new rate constant will be inverse of the rate constant for the initial reaction and when an equation is divided by 2 then equilibrium constant for the new reaction will be equal to the root of the equilibrium constant for the first reaction hence i can write the relation k2 which i mean equilibrium constant for second reaction is equal to 1 by root of k1 1 by k1 because the equation is reversed and root k1 because the equation is divided by 2 hence k2 will be equal to 1 divided by root of 49 that is 1 divided by 7 that will be equal to 0 0.143 hence option c is the right answer <music> 